Hello and welcome to Bill and Bear Cryptocurrency Analysis News and Education. My name is James Gore and in this video I am going over probably one of the most bullish Bitcoin price predictions and charting I've seen in a while, catching up on crypto Twitter. Uh, I have to share this because it's absolutely fantastic and gives a very bullish outcome and indication of where things are going, where things are likely to be. And uh, all credit to the chap Parabolic Trav on Twitter. I've actually covered one of his charts on the channel previously and I've spoken about it privately on Patreon as well. But I, I found the chart, not his actual Twitter, and I found his Twitter late, later. So again, shout outs to at Parabolic Trav. Uh, I'm just going to go through this thread. And it's, and it's probably the most fantastic charting. Uh, not fantastic charting, but outlook on BTC. So just very quickly, he says, why do I keep redrawing the lines? Here's why. A trend is always compromised of three waves, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. This isn't Elliott wave theory, just the nature of a trend itself. So he shows a chart here and how a linear trend is demonstrated. Now, number two, the reason why B wave occurs is because all of the buying that occurs on the A wave uh, all the buyers are potential future sellers, and the longer a wave lasts, the more potential for selling can occur. I call this sell capacity. As a trend rallies, sell capacity grows. Number three, in Bitcoin's case, the ABC model is curved in a log scale, so it looks a bit weird. If you're accustomed to a diagonal trends, your primary primary references, uh, but the logic is exactly the same. So this is why we use logarithmic charts on TradingView. Next up, uh, number four, the B wave can have a plane of varying degree, but the fundamental quality is that it's usually consistent and orderly. It's of a specific angle and it sticks to it. Here's, at, here's Bitcoins. As you can see, it's completely orderly and consistent. So here we can see just a continual downtrend like so, which is going to be apparently followed by a parabolic move in this C wave, which we'll get to in a sec. So next up, number five, this is exactly what happened in 2013. ABC trend with orderly B wave. No monthly correction of any magnitude in the A wave until the B hit. C wave is the explosive wave puts puts in the actual top. So we take a look here and this is 2013. We can see we have the A wave, it's a parabolic move, and that would be comparable to Bitcoin reaching 20K in the current situation. Then we have this corrective phase and shorter term B wave, and then we have the C wave where the price goes absolutely ballistic truly parabolic so next up so when the b wave hits it resets the sell capacity to a non-impactful amount meaning that the buyers of the previous wave have expended all of their potential sell capacity it bottoms not because bulls show up but because previous bulls have all sold and i've mentioned this previously uh, on the channel talking about when the bottom is in i think i've had it as an offhand comment but ultimately what comes down to it is the bottom's in when everyone that that uh, is willing to sell Bitcoin has sold Bitcoin. That's when the true bottom is in. Um, number seven, in 2018, the BTC B wave could have bottomed at any of these months. Anywhere from 12K down to 6K had all been the pivot into the C wave. We've got a pretty big monthly engulfing with a strong three monthly candle uh, building. So I'd venture that this is the start of the C wave. So what this chap is saying is I've covered this in today's video actually, funny enough, on the channel, um, talking about the weekly chart and how how things are shaping up. But I haven't taken a look at the monthly chart, however. But he's essentially saying that we have the first engulfing candle, bullish engulfing candle, uh, on the monthly chart, uh, closing uh, relatively soon. So this is the start of the C wave. So he's suggesting that we're about to see some really big things in BTC. Um, here's both the major cycle trends for comparison. So. Here we have the 2013 trend. We have BTC climbing as well. Um, we have, an, have the first A wave, we have the B wave, and then we have the C wave. Then we have a corrective phase again. And then we have the A wave, the B wave, and we're yet to see a C wave. So, you know, it's, it's on its way apparently. Next up, so number nine, two, 2010 to 2011, wave was also exactly the same structure, albeit of such an extreme velocity it barely corrected so you can see here as well just visually 2010 to 2011 you see the a b c wave and the one thing i'd say is that the cheaper the price of the <coughs> pardon me guys sorry apologies what we can see here is um the 
the more volatile the coin was earlier on so seeing no no b wave or very minimal b wave is, is to be expected number 10 next up he says i've always been in this for the c wave i have zero interest in worrying about trying to add value to the b wave i know in the macro level this b wave will simply turn a bunch of 2016 to 2017 hodlers into traders and cause them to squander the upcoming trend Number 11, this final point, whether it keeps running here or drops back to fill the CME gaps around 5.8 to 6k doesn't matter to me. I've always considered this, uh, and this is my opinion, uh, the C wave is inevitable. So what he's saying is that yes, Bitcoin can go up, yes, Bitcoin can go back down to 5.8 to 6k range from where we are currently. And I think this was on the 25th of July, so I missed this one. But he's, he's ultimately saying um, it doesn't matter because the C wave is coming, it's inevitable, and it's going to be even more ridiculously parabolic than we've previously seen. Um, so he says, finishes or so, so GFY, go fuck yourself essentially, and get out of the way of my parabolic trend. So again, guys, I suggest you follow this guy on Twitter. Um, it's, it's, a, it's I have, I'm pro I probably should do a crypto Twitter roundup of must follow accounts actually, because there are some really good technical uh, TA accounts on there for trading and investing but from an investor's perspective if you're looking to hold btc and you have an expectation of time frame um just bear in mind that big things are on the way i've i've, I've mentioned uh again uh parabolic line with a shift fork as well uh, and the shift fork was really useful in terms of the, the parabolic chart in fact let's quickly see uh parabolic btc chart uh fork let's see if that comes up on google because then i can show you again uh, in the images, let's see, because it's probably the most reasonable TA I've seen on BTC for price expectations and why we're going to reach 100, 100k, as, and it's actually rather conservative, and it's going to happen a few times as well. So let's quickly see if I can find a better Google search term, BTC. Let's type in Bitcoin. And can't really see it. It's not coming up. Okay, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, if I find it, I'll post it to Twitter after this video. But my, my main point is, guys, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where we're at at the moment. Um, just make sure you have Bitcoin because, um, as previous, previous video recorded, make sure you have BTC ready and in your portfolio. If in doubt, hodling hodling is is the best way to hold to to kind of manage uh, BTC. Yes, you could potentially make a lot more if you're trading and investing and acquire, trying to acquire as much BTC as possible, which is one of the strategies to talk about on the channel quite consistently. But um, the, the the main thing is that patience and you know uh, you know the wait for the C wave. So that's it for today's video, guys. Massively appreciate you. Uh, watching my videos and supporting the channel if you do uh want to support the channel the best way to do so is via patreon as well uh we have some exclusive content over there which i'll be dropping again very soon so thank you so much hope you have an amazing day i shall see you very very soon in the next video wishing you guys all the best